So, LeBron, you come on the road riding a four-game losing streak. You're oh, under man. Right here, real killer. <laughs> a very happy Isaiah Thomas. Four-game losing streak on the road, under man, yet another lineup change. What's the most gratifying aspect of this win? Even when Washington made their run, uh, we, were still, we were still able to keep our composure, execute. And throughout the four came losing streak. Every time a team made a run, we just lost composure. We lost the lead. We turned the ball over. We couldn't get back in transition. And uh, everything that we kind of talked about over the last few days, transition defense, no turnovers, attacking. And uh, that's, that's what everything that we did tonight. And this is a huge win for us right now, you know, going on, you know, throughout the losing streak that we just had. You said this morning that you would fix this. What were your intentions when you stepped between the lines? Uh, well, I told my teammates I'm, I'm finally getting back in the game shape. When I can play a full half and uh, only really get tired once or twice throughout a whole half, I know I'm getting back in playing shape, and it feels good. It feels good to know that I'm almost getting back to my regular self after being out all preseason. So it has to be me. It starts with me. In order to right uh, this ship right now, it starts with me. So. And I had to come on and prove it, too. Can't just talk about it. Your greatness will extend far beyond scoring, but tonight you passed Kobe Bryant as the youngest to get to 29,000. You also joined Michael Jordan as only the second guy to have 800 consecutive games of double digits. As your career unfolds, to join those names means what? Um, Doris, you know I'm a historian of the game. And you know how much Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan meant to me throughout my childhood and, and seeing what they was able to accomplish. Even when I was in grade school, through high school, I, I idolized those guys. For one, Mike gave me a, a vision. He was like my superhero growing up. He gave me a vision that I could get out the inner city. And then Kobe Bryant was a pioneer of one of those first few guys that come out of high school and actually make it possible. So um, anytime I'm in the, in the breath in the same sentence as Kobe and Mike, and even some of the rest of the greats, uh, it's, just, it's just very humbling just to know where I come from. You could hear sort of Jeff Van Gundy marveling on our telecast tonight about the fact that you continue to get better. Why? Um, I don't want to give myself a ceiling. I don't want to cap myself. I told myself I'm going to work extremely hard on my post, on my post game, and I'm going to work extremely hard.